Making $5,000 a day seems like something that is incredibly impossible doing. But in this specific video, I'm going to show you how I just made $5,000 in less than, I don't know, probably like five minutes. So let's go ahead and join. Hi everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and welcome to a brand new video for the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I was able to make $5,000 with this simple binary option strategy, but hey, if you're new to my channel and you're into binary options, forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification of every new video that I upload. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Hey, before I actually jump into the content of this video, I do wanna give you a warm invitation to a free binary options webinar that I'm actually having this week. Right here is the link in the description of this video so you can register and save your spot. This training is gonna be basically based on this specific strategy, but it's gonna be like a one hour training with live Q&A with everybody interested in what I have to say in regards to this strategy. So you can become an expert after this specific training in this strategy. So if you wanna be part of that specific training, the link is in the description of this video, but hurry up because we do have limited spots available. And once you actually register, you're gonna get a, uh, the date and time of the next webinar availability. So hopefully I can see you there. All right, so I want to start by showing you my live trades of today's session with this pocket option uh, account. And more importantly, if you gonna if you want to use the exact same broker, they do have a free demo account. They're one of the most trusted brokers in the world. The link is in the description of this video for pocket options. So let's go ahead and take a look at our live trades and see how that actually went. All right, so as you can see, I won my six positions with this specific trading uh, session. Look, uh, I've been trading with $1,000, because so that's the limit of my account, honestly, uh, or, or any account with the maximum trading amount with pocket option is $1,000, so that's the reason why I'm trading with it. You can see that I started with $44,000, and right now I'm at $49,000, which is crazy, amazing, and pretty darn good results. Now. Let's go ahead and talk about the strategy settings right now so that you can actually get an idea as to what is it that you have to do. And right here, we have the perfect example of what is the settings of the strategy. Look, we're gonna use three different indicators. Like I said, in that training, I'm gonna give you the whole details in regards to it, but right now I'm just gonna give you like a small explanation, right? So you can see that right here, we have the uh, Kellner channel, the RSI and Stochastic Oscillator. Those are the only three indicators that you gotta have. You just gotta make sure that the RSI has the level of 70 and 30. The Stochastic has the levels of 80 and 20. And the Kellner channel, you just gotta 
to make sure that the multiplier is 2, EMA period is 20, and ATR period is 10. That's it. With those three settings, all you have to do is wait for the price to either be overbought or oversold and place a one minute position in the opposite direction. By the way, candlesticks have to be in 30 seconds. Okay, so what is an overbought? Overbought on overbought or oversold on Kellner channel is basically when the candlesticks go outside of the boundaries. For instance, right here, it closed outside of the boundaries, so therefore there's gonna be a retraction right here. There, it, there was outside of the boundaries, so it's gotta be a retraction. Now, second confirmation. The RSI needs to either touch or cross the level of 70 or 30, okay? So for instance, right here, it almost touched it, and it boom, it started retracting the level of 30. So it retracted on the opposite direction. Right here, it touched, so then you enter, boom, and you win that position. Third confirmation, the stochastic oscillator needs to be completely oversold, meaning outside of the level of 80 or 20. Here, boom, it was outside of the level, you enter. Here, boom, it was outside of the level, and boom, you enter. And that's it. When you got those three confirmations telling you that the price is going to retract, then you enter a one minute position. Now you can realize that I place more than one position sometimes with these positions, but two reasons why. Number one is because I can only place $1,000 and I should be placing with around $2,500 per trade, which is my 5%. Number two reason is because I know for a fact that the price is going to retract, so I actually take advantage of those uh, either huge jumps or huge drops in order to actually enter more than one position and make money like that. Now let's talk about how, what is it that you need to avoid? First of all, you need to avoid moments when the price is completely trending. For instance, right here, you can see that the price actually right here touched the RSI, but then it continued dropping. Well, this one is good, but then this one right here, take a look in this place right here, the price of the RSI continues to go down, continues and continues and continues along with the RSI and the price outside of the candle. So when you actually see that the third time this happens, then just stay away from it. You don't know when it's going to retract. This is just for beginners because I've been actually trading like this and I wait for that specific jump and I recover all my money and make profits. But if you're a beginner, I just want to make sure that you don't do this because you're going to blow your account. So when you actually see this continuous downtrend, then you should definitely just stay away from it. Wait for the price to start being stable again and look what happens when the price becomes stable again. So this is the downtrend. This is where you don't trade, but then it became stable again and boom, the strategy starts to get respected. Okay. So super important that you understand that and avoid this type of trading and you're going to be good to go. Hey, so hopefully you enjoyed the content of this video. And if you did, smash the like button to support this YouTube channel. But more importantly, if you guys have any questions or comments to share, you can always use the comment section below and my team will be happy to reply to you. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.